The Denver Nuggets have been dominating the fourth quarter in the playoffs so far. Last night, Jamal Murray put together 23 points with one missed field goal in the fourth quarter alone. Up to that point, Jamal Murray was not having such a good game. Shooting inefficiently, defense for Jamal Murray just hasn't been there for this playoffs, but he went lights out and contested shots all of last night in the playoffs. Dominating the Lakers after it was a very hard game after they were losing most of the game while the Lakers were winning the free throw battle. In game five against Phoenix, a pivotal game five, one that the Nuggets needed to win. Jamal Murray drops 10 points, misses one field goal, and Bruce Brown drops 10 points and only misses one field goal as well. The Nuggets close out that fourth quarter with 27 points on 63% from the field and 60% from three and a plus seven in crunch time. And in game two, in the fourth quarter of that game, when they need to seal home court advantage if they want to have a chance against the so-called super team that is the Suns, Nicole Jokic drops eight points in the fourth quarter, KCP drops nine on no miss shots, and they win the fourth quarter 27 to 14. A 13 point advantage that won them the game. They were losing before this quarter. The Denver Nuggets have been so dominant in the playoffs right now, and they look like they can take over the West this year. Anyway, is this the best Denver Nuggets team ever? Let's get straight into the video. The Denver Nuggets are a story franchise with no winning. They'll have guys like David Robinson drop 70 points in the 90s or 70s or 80s or whatever he did. They'll have Alex English lead the 80s in scoring as a whole when players like Michael Jordan and Larry Bird and Magic Johnson were at their peak. And they'll have players like Carmelo Anthony who look like the shit come out of the draft after he won a national championship with Syracuse who only ever brought them to conference finals in which they didn't look too competitive. The Denver Nuggets are a storied franchise of losing. They suck their whole career. And when it comes to this, the Denver Nuggets are one of the worst franchises in the NBA. However, ever since Calvin Booth has taken over from last offseason, the Denver Nuggets look to have turned to stone in their franchise history. They come out first seed, best team in the West all year long in a regular season dominating teams that are thought of as even better than them. In the regular season, the Grizzlies were thought of as better than the Denver Nuggets, and the Denver Nuggets had their number. The Suns were thought of as better than the Denver Nuggets, and the Nuggets put them out in six in the second round. The Nuggets have faced adversity this year just because of how underdog they are. The Denver Nuggets will never be the favorite unless they win a championship this year. From a history so poor like the Denver Nuggets, you would hope that eventually it would turn around. For many years, that was not the case. The Denver Nuggets, after Carmelo Anthony, went from a 50-win season with Andre Iguodala and George Carl at the top, to then right back to mediocrity, drafting players like Emmanuel Moutier, taking Trey Lyles in a trade, which they traded Donovan Mitchell, drafting Rudy Gobert, then letting him go to the Jazz. It was a dumpster fire. The Denver Nuggets were not fun to watch for a long time. When I used to go to their games back in 2014, 2015, that area, all I would do was go to watch Kenneth Fareed, Will Barton, and Gary Harris. That's how ugly our franchise was. Even though the Denver Nuggets have not even made the finals yet, you could already say that this is their greatest team ever. Right now, they are up two games to zero on the Los Angeles Lakers, and even if they do lose a series in six games, it is by far the biggest accomplishment they've ever had. They've never had a player like Jamal Murray in the playoffs to go alongside their star. Nikola Jokic in the playoffs this season, amazing. 30 point triple double. Nobody could expect this coming from Jokic. Now I could because I know he's a superstar, but to have a guy averaging a 30 point triple double and then have your point guard average around 28 in the playoffs is something that the Denver Nuggets have never had and they probably won't have after this era is finished. So to me, this is by far the greatest Denver Nuggets team of all time. Carmelo Anthony and Chauncey Billups could not accomplish what these two are doing. Neither could Carmelo Anthony and Allen Iverson. Neither could Alex English and whatever solid big they had back in the day, or David Thompson and whatever second option I was putting up 13 a night did back in the day. The Denver Nuggets, the dumpster fire of their organization, have reached their peak right now. Their peak might not even be this postseason. If they win a championship this season and then win one the next year, that might be their peak. Who knows? But all I can say is that I'm praying that the Denver Nuggets do something good this playoffs. If we make the finals, we get a burden off our back that we've never made one. If we win the finals, we get an even bigger burden off our back that we've never won one. One of many teams to never win a championship, but one of few teams to never make a finals. Even the Miami Heat, pretty much immediately after expansion, won a championship with Dwayne Wade in 2006. 
The Denver Nuggets have existed so much longer than Miami than the Miami Heat, and we have nothing to show for it. We have a two-time MVP, and we have a damn good point guard. There's no doubt about that. But when it comes to accomplishments, my God, it does not get worse than the Denver Nuggets. I can confidently say that no matter what happens in the next however many games, however many games that the Denver Nuggets even last in the playoffs, this is the greatest Denver Nuggets team ever. There's no doubt about it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace out. Hey, come on, I got a bag on me. You try to take it, leave you stankin' like your last on me. She kinda cakey, little baby, put that ass on me. But I ain't that horny, do you got some cash for me? Why every time you ask him that, bitch is act funny. And you keep trying to hold the strap, you won't slap for me. You too happy, I can tell you never had money. Every time you get on live, got a flash money.